okay? and somebody is trying to destroy your reputation. So what are the solution prayer? What they appear in your dream in the night. They are very dangerous things. I am going to be talking about them. I welcome all our viewers. So, your glory is the sum of all that God was, the one that is. Gideon of Jacob shall possess their possession. Praise the Lord. I give all glory, uh, honor, and adoration to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, for another wonderful time again uh, in His presence. As the scripture has said in the book of Psalm 16, verse 11, He said, In His presence there is fullness of joy, and in His right hand there are a player forevermore. Uh, just like I usually say, that uh, the greatest thing that could ever happen to a man is to just be in God's presence. Because in his presence, there is a lot of joy. Uh, because every time you get to God's presence, it doesn't matter how big uh, the problem is, there is a solution. There is a solution. I have experimented, uh, experimented it. I have seen it happening in my life ministry. So I believe that if uh, you come into God's presence, you will always get a solution. It does not matter how long. It does not matter how difficult uh, you may have uh, had the problem. I trust God so much that in His presence, uh, there is fullness of joy. So once again, I want to welcome you all to the program. I also want to use this opportunity to appreciate you, uh, all uh, those who have subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate you. Um, it encourages uh, the continuity of this program. And of course, um, it's also another way for us to know that you are following us and you are supporting us. And also, if maybe this is your very first time of coming across uh, my video, and uh, you have not yet subscribed well i encourage you to uh, go ahead and click on the subscription button which is the red button by the left hand side so that uh, well, anytime there are message you will be notified because if any new messages come you will be notified you are also free to share uh, the video with uh, members of your families on uh, on the social net media network on maybe facebook whatsapp so that they also can uh, be blessed uh, from the message. I also encourage those who are interested in uh, buying my books. Uh, we have books on deliverance um, that you can get the link under this video. If you are watching us on YouTube, the link will be under uh, the video. But if you are watching us on your uh, TV station at home, then it's, uh, you are going to see, we try to put a, a, an address on the screen where you can get a uh, access to our book may the lord continue to bless you and keep you so all whatever you need about aspect of deliverance the books are available so you can always go through uh, this video under uh scroll through on the, the links under this video so that you can also get your own copy and uh, start dealing with whatever uh problem that you may be having is it generational problem is it problem of uh, spirit husband and wife is it a um, problem of recovery your glory and the uh, 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 identify God's plan for your life and also uh, positioning yourself for progress and for fulfillment in Christ Jesus. So all this, uh, you can get them under the link uh, uh, under this video. May the Lord bless and keep you in Jesus Christ's name. Now, today I have a special uh, message that I want to share with uh, all of you out there, uh, all over the world. And um, since we diffuse our program in English and in French, I also trust God that the French people also will be blessed from this. Now, um, it's a message that I believe that uh, one way or the other you may have had this kind of dream in your, in your life. Uh, one way or the other, you may have, everybody has, uh, has an encounter one way or the other with a, the kind of dream I want to share today. But I will go uh, a little bit further to expand it or to uh, explain more. I will go a little bit further to explain more about this kind of dream. That is the dream about seeing your mother in the dream. Now, when you dream and you saw your mother in the dream, what does this mean? Now, I will be, I will try as much as possible to put uh, diverse instances. I will be giving you uh, different instances where you can have dreams of your mother uh, in the dream. Now, when you dream about your mother, is it actually that your mother that you see or maybe your mother just came to your dream and, you know, appeared to you? Because see, there are people that have seen their mother in the dream and uh, maybe they've seen their mother in a negative way 
and they woke up thinking that their mother is a witch and probably thinking their mother is wicked and thinking that probably their mother is this and that and there are people also who have really entered into a lot of error because of this dream of seeing their mother in the dream and they, they don't really understand but by the spirit of our lord jesus christ the spirit of god i will be explaining to you uh, uh the, the the revelation uh, about mother uh, based on my long time of uh, staying in the presence of the Lord. That's why the Bible says in the book of 1st John chapter 2 verse uh, 21, 27 that uh, ye have an auction that the anointing which you have received she, 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 all things. So the Holy Spirit is the one that translates the dream. And uh, based on my various experience of having dreams and the one that the Lord by Spirit has translated, I'll be talking about uh, dreams about mother. Now, dreams about mother, when you see your mother in the dream, it is not your mother that turn himself to appear in your dream. It is God trying to use the images to speak to you. Now, God is the creator of all things. He created your father, he created your mother, and all human beings are created in his image. So God can, you know, speak to you, you know, through your mother. He can use your mother to appear to you in the dream. Now, when you see your mother in the dream, the first uh, meaning of seeing your mother in the dream is that it may actually be that God is talking about your mother. It may actually be that God is talking about your mother. Taking for instance, maybe there is an event that is about to occur in the life of your mother and that God wants you to be aware of it or maybe God wants you to pray about it so God can show you revelation about your mother. Now, if your mother has a need, financial need or material need, the Lord can appear to you shaking the image of your mother or your mother can appear to you in the dream as asking you, saying, my son or my daughter, I do not have so much at home. God can use your mother image to appear you to give you a message. So God may actually be talking in that instant that okay, it's your mother that is talking about. Maybe there are also instances, maybe some bad thing want to happen uh, to your mother, or maybe your mother is coming on a visit to your home. The Holy Spirit can give you a relation that uh, your mother is coming to visit you, and maybe a few days later your mother came. Just like I shared the dreams about the father. So when you dream and you saw your mother in the dream, it may actually be that God is actually talking about your mother in that instance. But it's not in all instance that God is talking about your mother. So secondly, second dream interpretation of seeing your mother in the dream. The angel of God can appear to you as your mother. The Lord can send message. Don't forget that the Bible says the angels of God, they don't do their own bidding. They do the bidding of God. They do the bidding of God. So the angels of God can appear to give you message and they can take the image of, of God, but they can take the image of your mother. Now, if the angel of God take the image of your mother and they were speaking to you or give you a maybe gentle warning, maybe you wanted to take a step and they will tell you, don't go there, it's not good to go there. It may be the angel of the Lord, you know, talking to you or God use the image of your angel, angel uh, of your mother to talk to you. Like I've said before, God is the creator of all things. He created humanity in his image and in his likeness. So your mother can ha, is, is the image of God. So if she appears in your dream, she's actually carrying the image of God. So God can use the image whenever he wants for the goodness, for your goodness and for the uh, expansion of his kingdom. So that is the only case when God can appear, uh, you know, or take the uh, send the angel, and the angel can appear in the image of your mother to give you a uh, warning. Now, that warning will be only for direction. Uh, not for evil things but things that will be glorified in the name of the lord or things that will help you to take the right step in your life or maybe when you are taking the wrong step uh, you know your mother can appear god can use your mother to appear don't think that's your mother because if you call your mother on telephone or maybe you go visit your mother your mother will tell you i, I didn't know when i appeared to you in your dream so it's not your mother it's god that take the image of your mother to give you warning or instruction or directives solely for things that glorify his name solely for the things that will protect your life solely for the things that will lead to the advancement of his kingdom in your life so that is it the first one i said god can show you your mother in the dream to give you uh you know revelation of the present state of your mother maybe for your financial state if your mother have a need maybe the um, spiritual state maybe there are some attack that is coming against your mother so god can show you that dream and it talks and, and say you that look this is what is happening to your mother rise up and pray this is what is happening to your mother come out and help your mother so the second one is the angel of god can appear you know uh as your mother to, to warn you or give you instruction in the dream then the third one is that uh, 
the angel of your mother's church. Now, those of us and those who have been in the ministry, or maybe you have been a, a pastor before and you serve in a ministry, and after you serve in ministry, you now start your own ministry. You know, the angel of God can appear, the angel of that church where you serve, the angel of that company where you serve can appear and speak to you and appear to you and say, Oh, uh, Mr. Uh, Murphy, we need your assistant. Uh, Mr. Patrick, we need your assistant or come and assist us. And so you just wake up in that dream. You think, ah, my mother appeared to me. He needs, he wants me to come and assist him. It may be the angel of your mother's church, that is, or your mother's ministry. That is the angel that is there that monitor the affair of the ministry where you were born. That is the ministry where your own ministry came out from. So it's possible for, your, for you to have sat in the church before and you left the church, you are now on your own, you have your own church. So the angel of, the angel of that church can appear to you in can appear to you to tell you that oh come and assist us. So the angels of your mother church, your mother ministry, your mother's uh, company or institution can carry the image of your mother in the dream, you know, to give you instruction or pass a message across to you, i.e., some of the messages what I've just shared now, come and, and assist us, come and assist us. So it may not actually be your mother, because uh, uh, actually you are uh, born, your ministry is given back to through the uh, instrumentality of another ministry. Maybe God use an, a ministry to assist you, God use a ministry to support you, or God use a ministry to give back to your ministry, and now you are on your own. And sometimes the Holy Spirit can appear, you know, take our God can appear and take the image of you know of your mother to communicate uh, uh, to you uh, the need uh, or your, uh, to, to come and assist your uh, mother ministry or your mother's church, not your physical mother. Now the ministry that gave back to you, uh, may the Lord bless and keep you. Now the uh, fourth one is that uh, you know the, uh, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit can appear as your mother. It can appear as your mother and uh, give you instruction uh, basically on things that will lead to your uh, proper upbringing, things that will lead to the expansion of the kingdom of God. Now, the fifth one is that uh, God can also appear himself to you, like I've said, uh, in the image of your of your mother. You know, he can send an angel. He can appear to you in the image of your mother. He can send the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit can come to appear in the image of your mother, you know, to give you instruction. So God himself can appear as your mother to pass uh, across a vital message to you, solely uh, messages that will not contradict his will. Uh -huh. So God will not ask you to go and do anything that is difficult or something that is contrary to the word of God. So there are instances where people have had dreams and uh, the, the, their mother appeared to them, you know, doing one or two things that is contrary to the will of God and they will think, ah, it's my mother, it's my mother. So uh, God can appear to you in the dream, you know, take the image of your mother because your mother was created from his image. So he was actually the owner of the image that your mother carries. So God can appear in the image of your mother, you know, to give you instruction, to direct you, to give you secret, you know, secret about things that uh, you do not know about your life, about your family, about your generation. That that secret, that if you discover that secret, or if you hold on to that secret, it will help you to advance your life. Uh, so some of, some of the secrets that you do not know, God will take the image of your mother to appear to you because your mother is, uh, mothers are usually tender, close to our, to the heart of their children. So God cannot take the image of your mother in your dream in order to reveal to you easy secret that will lead to your life advancement and the expansion of his uh, kingdom. May the Lord bless and keep you in Jesus Christ's name. Another thing that could take the image of your mother in the dream, you know, to appear to you uh, a familiar spirit or a worshipped ancestral spirit or demons. Now, familiar spirits are spirit that take the image of your loved ones, they can take the image of your friends, they can take the image of people you know, you know, to appear in your dream, to cause confusion or to give you direction that are contrary to the will of God. Now, ancestral worship spirit, and this may be the spirit of your ancestors, maybe your great great grandfather that people are worshipping, or the spirit of your great great grandmother that people are worshipping, and that because this spirit are being worshipped, they could also take the image of your mother in the dream, you know, to do some of these things I'm going to, uh, you know, I, I like here uh, today. So demons also can appear in your dream and take the image of your mother, you know, to do one or two things that I will be highlighting here today. Some of these things that uh, are things that uh, maybe you have seen in the dream and you began to wonder 
How can my mother do this to me? How can my mother appear like this in my dream? How can my mother do this to my dream? And sometimes some people have had dreams like this and they see their mother in the dream and they begin to wonder oh, why is my mother or is my mother a witch or all, 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 all those kind of things. So we'll be talking about some of the things that familiar spirit or worship ancestral worshipped ancestral spirit or demons can do or appear to you in your dream and ask you to uh, do the following. Number one thing they can do is they can give you satanic uh, a strange and unpleasant command you can see a spirit to take the image of your mother and you see that your mother is uh, becoming very hostile to you in the dream it gives you some command uh and you know very very strange satanic commands uh in the dream command that are very satanic and unpleasant so when you dream and you see that kind of a dream i uh, package some prayer point that you are going to pray you know to nullify you know any kind of such kind of a dream when you see dreams of a, your mother threatening you or your mother uh you know uh manifesting in a strange way in the dream it is not your not your mother they are familiar spirit or worship ancestral spirit or demons that uh, are doing that so the first thing they usually do is they give you satanic strange and the uh, unpleasant command number second thing is they can confuse you for instance they can uh, you know take the image of your mother to attack you with uh, with cutlass you know in the dream with guns in the dreams with very strange or the objects to make you feel that uh, your mother uh, is is a bad person you know they, they can take the image of your mother and they will bring out cutlass and they wanted to attack you they can take the image of your mother bring out a knife and all manner of strange things to appear your dream to attack you and you will wake up and you say ah my mother want to kill me my mother want to kill me no these are the work of familiar spirit and ancestral worshipped spirit or demon that is the demon that people used to worship or your ancestor that are dead that you are your forefather are now worshiping now um the third thing that uh, you know this kind of spirit can also do to you you know that can take the image of your mother do to you is to ask you to make sacrifice now any spirit that appear in your dream and take the image of your mother and say my son my son oh go and make sacrifice for me i'm not i, I am not having peace in heaven no i'm not having peace in heaven go and make sacrifice for me it's a spirit it's a, it's a familiar spirit or a spirit that appears to you and take the image of your mother and say my son i am unable to enter heaven my daughter i'm unable to enter heaven because of uh, you have not killed goat for me you have not killed an animal for me those are familiar or ancestral spirit they wanted to remove covenant that will put you into bondage so you Come against them and pray against them. There are prayer points that I put at the end of this video. So as you watch it towards the end, uh, you will pray the prayer. When you, whenever you have dreams and you see, you know, your mother asking you to go and make sacrifice or, you know, uh, you know, traumatizing you in your dream. Now the fourth one, the spirits can take the image of your mother, you know, ancestral spirit or familiar spirit can take the image of your mother and ask you to stop worshiping her. You know, uh, I have spoken about instances here when I was talking about, you know, when you see uh, the relatives, I uh, talked about, you know, spirit asking people to go and worship them. Now, when the spirit can appear and say, the mother say she should be worshipping her, and then you wake up and say, ah, I should be worshipping my mother. I, I think I need to kill goats and kill animal. Now I have gotten through, I've seen instances like this where I, uh, people, you know, uh, uh, they, 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 they have twin sister that have died and they keep making you know, making sacrifices to their twin sister or you know making sacrifices to human beings so these are very satanic so when a spirit appears to you and ask you to make a sacrifice to your mother or your mother will appear your dream and say my, my son or my daughter you make sacrifice to me you know, i want you to be worshiping me kill goats and worshiping worship me those are familiar spirits and those are demonic ancestral uh, spirit or ancestral spirit that are being worshipped you know in africa and in asia and even some part of south america even today in america in the united states we have people who worship ancestral spirit people who have uh, who have gone to buy some deity from some satanic shop and uh, you know bring them to their homes and start to uh, you know worshiping them and these are things that are contrary to you know uh, to the will of god so any spirit so any spirit that asks you to you know start worshiping him take the image of your mother and said my son my daughter i want you to start worshiping me is a familiar spirit or an ancestral spirit or that have been worship or a demonic spirit now um the 51 that you see familiar spirit appear in your dream may ask you to do is a spirit may ask you to take flower to his or her grave you know when a spirit uh, appear in your dream a spirit, a spirit may ask you to take flower to her grave. That is, to thinking for instance, when your mother, you see your mother in the dream, you see my daughter, you have not brought flower to my grave. Why have not been part of my grave? You didn't remember me this year. 
you have not been proud the community you are usually taking flower to the grave of your mother or to the graveyard of your mother and the spirit appear to you and take the image of your mother and say my son my daughter you have not brought flower to my grave now i want you to know this i wrote it down here i want you to know that those who are dead do not care about your flowers <laughs> they do not care about your flower because the bible says in the book of uh, Hebrew chapter 9 verse 27 it says it is appointed for a man to die once and after this is judgment when the man died he has no control or capacity over his own soul again he goes then his body is useless it's useless just like uh, you know an empty can an empty can that is on the head so he turned to dust so when a person die he's gone his soul is gone he's going to meet with judgment now, so if if a person die and the person appear and take the image of your mother and ask you my daughter ah this year you have not brought a, a flower to my graveyard or maybe you've gone to see a witch doctor and he said that ah the reason why you are not prospering is because you have not bring flower to your mother's graveyard ah that is why you are not prospering i want you to quickly go and buy flower take it to your mother's graveyard so that she can bless you somebody who is dead cannot bless any man cannot bless anyone any man because he has no control, no power, or no influence over his own spirit again. He is not subjected to the law of God, the law of judgment of God. So the Bible says it is appointed unto a man to die once and that after his uh, judgment. So a spirit can, can take the image of your mother and be asking you to come and bring flower, you know, flower, you know, flower, flower, flower like this, and bring flower to his, uh, uh, his, to his, to his uh, graveyard. So when you see a spirit or, who, or of your mother who is dead, uh, uh, asking you to bring flower to his graveyard um, it is uh, a familiar spirit it is an ancestral demonic spirit or, or a ancestrally worship spirit or a demons that want to de divide uh, your attention you discover you are going to church you are serving god and you're worshiping jesus christ at the same time you carry flower to the grave you are worshiping your mother so you are now worshiping to god at the same time uh, expecting blessing from your mother how can you expect blessing from your mother you go to church at the same time you're expecting blessing from your mother you go to your, your mother's grave and be shouting mother help me i brought you flower bless me bless me this year let this year be good for me you can't pray for the dead it is not written in any bible that anyone should pray for the dead uh, if it is bible said to the law and to the testimony they speak not according to this world it's because there is no truth in them so anyone that does those things are doing it in ignorance in ignorance in ignorance so a spirit can take the image of your mother in the dream and ask you to bring flower and when he asks you to bring flower to his graveyard is a it's not your mother it is a demonic spirit your blessing is not attached to any graveyard your blessing is attached to god there is only one mediator one man jesus christ who died for mankind is the spirit of truth and in the spirit of truth so because it's the spirit of truth is the one that gives life is the one that gives blessings remember he said that the thief covered not but to kill to steal and to destroy but jesus came to give life he didn't say the graveyard of your mother came to give you life no he said jesus came to give life and to give life in abundance so when they your mother appeared to you and asked you to bring flower to his graveyard is the spirit of familiar spirit so we are still talking about dreams about mother instances where you have your dream you see your mother in the dream i've said that uh, many things about that i'm going to try and repeat them uh, again but uh, we are in the sixth number now number 16 that familiar spirit can ask you to do you know and if they appear in your dream and take the image of your mother they ask you to do some very very strange things some of you you know somebody else, any strange thing any strange thing that is contrary to the word of god and you see a spirit asking you to do it or take the image of your mother that spirit is a familiar spirit or an ancestral spirit or a demonic uh, spirit another thing that spirit that appears demonic spirit or familiar spirit when they appear in your dream uh, they can cause you to do is to give you food to eat you see a prepared food a prepared food beautiful food you know and you see that they ask you to eat maybe bean cake it may be beans it may be anything uh, maybe a shower or any, or any kind of food yam and red oil and you see your mother bring it to my son eat it and you start to eat it thinking that it was your mother <laughs> no it's not your mother it is a familiar spirit when you see a spirit giving you yam and red oil in your dream and it take the image of your mother it is not your mother at all it is a familiar spirit it is a familiar spirit it is an ancestral spirit that wanted to enforce embargo and covenant upon your head so other thing that you wish that can happen when you dream of familiar spirit or ancestral spirit taking the image of your mother to appear to you is to be very unduly harsh with you they can be very very harsh with you and wicked in that dream 
You say, this is not my mother. My mother is, can't be like this. It, that, those are the kind of things that familiar spirits can do. They will take the image of your mother to appear to you in the dream, you know, and behaving very harsh towards you. Or sometimes they behave very, very uh, horribly, horrifically, you know, in the dream. You will see your mother and you say, hey, it's like a, like a wish in the dream. Those kind of things, dreams, are familiar uh, spirit that can appear. They can take the image of your mother in the dream and appear to you in the dream. Now, I want to quickly repeat it before I go to the final one, which I will take us to the prayer of uh, against, you know, when you to pray against the spirit that appear or take the image of your mother to terrorize you in the dream, to terrorize you in the dream, to cause you confusion, or you see your mother trying to attack you in the dream. Uh, or you see your mother trying to eat you with some strange thing, or you see your mother feeding you with strange food in the dream. So I have packet prayer that we are going to pray against that. But first of all, I wanted to repeat, you know, dreams about seeing your mother. When you see your mother in the dream, number one, it can mean that God is trying to tell you the state of your mother, what your mother is going through, you know, and whether there's a need to help your mother. So it may be God, I see God that God is actually talking about your mother. Secondly, I say the angel of God can take the uh, image of your mother, or God can allow the angel to take the image of your mother to speak to you in the dream. Now, that's specifically to give you direction on things that will lead to the advancement of your life and the kingdom of God. Now, thirdly, I said the angel of your mother's church, not your physical mother. The church that gave back to your ministry, or the ministry that gave back to your ministry, or the company that gave back to your company. So they are angels that watch over them. So you are because your ministry is given back to from a, another ministry. So your, your 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 angel of that ministry may ask you to assist, come and assist them. It may be in form of prayer. It may be in form of financial help. So the angel of the ministry where your ministry was given back to can appear in the image of your mother. To ask you for support now number four god himself can appear uh, as your mother in the dream uh, can appear as your mother in the dream to give you direction regarding his kingdom and the holy spirit can appear in your dream to give you direction concerning uh, the kingdom of god or to warn you you know if you are making mistake or you are taking steps that are not good or the step that does not glorify god they warn you now the sister one is familiar spirit or spirit that are being worshipped or ancestral spirit that have been worshipped, maybe your ancestor they have been worshipped. I said this also can appear to you uh, in the dream, and uh, for their own mission is just to get you confused. Like I said, the first thing is they can give you satanic, strange and unpleasant command. They can confuse you in the dream. Think for example, they can see you can see that your mother is trying to attack you with cutlass with knife, and you'll be thinking that it's your mother that wants to attack you. Third one, they can ask you to make sacrifice. Uh, this spirit that will take the image of your mother to ask you to make sacrifice are. Uh, you know, ancestral spirit or familiar spirit. Number fourth one is that a, a spirit that asks you to start worshiping her. You know, <laughs> when your mother appears in your dream, I say, my son, I want you to start worshiping me. It may be your late mother, you say, I want you to start worshiping me. When you worship me, you will progress. Those are demonic spirit. Those are not the spirit of God. Those are not the spirit of your mother. Those are my familiar spirit. Number five, you know, a spirit can ask you to take flower. Like I told you, uh, um, a spirit can take the image of your mother and ask you to bring flower to his shrine or to his, excuse me, excuse me, to bring flower to his uh, graveyard. Uh, those who are dead, they are dead. <laughs> you can't be worshipping God at the same time, taking flower to a graveyard, expecting that when you get to the graveyard, your mother will bless you. Most people think that as they are talking to their grave, to the grave of their loved one, they are talking to, to the person uh, over there. No. Your intercession, your request, and your prayer should go to your Creator, God alone. And as you do that, you are obeying God. But when you start to make sacrifices of flower, it's the sacrifice of flower. You're taking flower to the graveyard, and your mother appears to you. You said that if you don't bring flower to my graveyard, you will not prosper. Or you need to take the flower to your mother's graveyard. And by, by doing this, you are recognizing or appreciating your mother. Um, uh, it is idolatry. It is idolatry. Now the sixth one is. Um, you can't be serving God and still uh, expecting a person to, you know, bless you at the same time. If it's in, a, a dead person to bless you. Uh, the Bible says it is appointed unto a man to die, and that is judgment. So the moment your mother died, the body is no longer useful. It's no longer useful. Um, if she's gone, she only pray that one that, God, that one day, uh, if she has gone to heaven. If God gives you revelation that he has gone to heaven, you pray that God should help you to be in heaven so that you can see your mother in heaven. And uh, you don't know whether she's in hell. Uh, which I don't pray that any mother, a person's mother should go to hell. But the thing is that uh, ask if, if a woman, a spirit appear to you, uh, uh, your mother appear to you in the dream, asking you to mix, bring flower to his uh, graveyard, it's a spirit, it's not your mother. 
is an evil spirit that is asking you to do that. Now, the sixth thing that I said that familiar spirit can do, this spirit can take the image of your mother, is ask you to do some very strange things. They can give you food in the dream. They can, you know, be very unduly harsh with you. They can behave very, very horribly to you in the dream. So uh, you say, ah, maybe it's my mother. My mother is wicked. No, it's not your mother. Familiar spirit can do that. Now, the last thing I will be talking here is uh, about the dream of your mother again. But this time around, there is a possibility for you to dream and you see your mother trying to attack you in the dream and that dream actually has a meaning that is related to your mother if your mother or your grandmother used to worship idol or they have consulted a witch doctor before or they have gone to see a seer maybe for their own personal protection or for your own protection if they have done that before or for the protection of their children they have actually indirectly put their children into bondage they have indirectly put their children into bondage because god forbid consultation to witch doctor or ancestral spirit or even any kind of uh, you know a deity so if your mother has done that before in the past or maybe your grandmother has visited a witch doctor before and he has visited a deity before and now you are born again you are a child of god and you are now praying when you pray you will see the familiar spirit with the familiar spirit will take the image of your mother or the spirit that your mother has consulted in the past can take the image of your mother and uh, probably attack you or probably you will see that your mother tied you uh, to a, a, a particular spot i had a dream of a particular person and i saw the person was tied down with shame very strong you know shame now this kind of shame are not shame that they used to tie dog these are shame they used to tie sheep tie used this kind of shame to tie woman but the shame was so strong and in the revelation I was made to understand that it was the mother that tied him there but physically the mother was a nice person to him it is because the mother has actually consulted which doctor to assist that man and because the mother has consulted which doctor to assist the man the man cannot progress and it's not progressing now if that man start to pray it is because I was praying for that man that God give me revelation you know I was seeking the welfare of the family of that man and that God give me the revelation and I saw the man was tied and the revelation give me understanding that it was the mother that tied him down it was not actually that the mother used to to tie him no the what God was trying to make me to understand is that uh, because of the mother numerous consultation with which doctor or numerous consultation with medium or demon demonic spirit and sacrifices made to demonic spirit this child has been tied down so yeah, that is the only instance where you see that your mother uh, can maybe you see your mother your mother is like is attacking you in the dream if your mother has ever gone to see a witch doctor before or a fake pastor or a fake uh, uh, prophet and uh, uh, they are, you are already in bondage you are already in serious captivity uh, when i will be doing a revised message on how to recover your lost glory i think i will try and talk about those instances so when you dream and you see your mother in the dream sometimes it's coming to attack you it may be when you are praying when you are praying and you are seeking God's face, God, I need my deliverance. I need my deliverance. I need my deliverance. I need my deliverance. And in that dream, when you are praying that God should give you deliverance, you are likely going to see your mother. If your mother has ever visited a witch doctor before, if your mother has ever consulted a medium before, if your mother has ever visited a faith prophet before, and they have given him some sham, some thing, uh, maybe to help her. And maybe she has gone to visit them because she wanted, you know, uh, uh, to protect herself or protect her children. Or maybe your grandmother has done something like that. You are likely going to have dreams of seeing your mother coming to attack you. Yes, because it is true ah, that that covenant take place. That covenant of punishment. That covenant of bondage. That covenant of limitation. That covenant of de life de de degradation. It is true ah, that that covenant come in. Because any, any visit to which doctor? Or to any medium by either your mother or your grandmother is an attack against your life it's an attack against your soul it's an attack against your ministry and your destiny so when you start praying it's possible for you to see your mother it may not physically be your mother the bible says we rest not against flesh and blood but against principalities and against power so you won't wake up from that kind of a dream and you rush to go and meet your mother and you start beating your mother or you start fighting your mother you say ah mother i saw you, you want to kill me i saw you, you want to kill me so it is not your mother 
it is not your mother this familiar spirit who are and in the covenant with your mother can appear to you or God is trying to tell you that look it is through your mother that you enter into captivity God may be trying to tell you that it is through your mother that you enter into captivity that is it is what your mother did in the past that push you or sub uh, subjects you to the captivity of the devil so in those kind of instances, I have packed prayer points that you pray so you don't need to go and meet your mother and start fighting your mother she has done it she has done it in the past so you don't need to go and start fighting and hurting her. She did it probably because she was looking for a way to save your soul or a way to save the family or to protect the family from the wicked one. I'm not justifying her for going to visit the witch doctor. But what I'm trying to say is that uh, there's no need to fight because the wrath of man, the Bible says, walk not the righteousness of God. So you will not dream and you see your mother was trying to fight you in the dream and you say, oh, my mother is wicked, you want to kill me. What you need to do is just to pray the prayer that I have packaged here. So we will be going straight to the prayer right now. And as we pray the prayer, I believe God that uh, whatever dream that uh, the enemy, you know, has programmed, you know, to destroy you, it will all be nullified in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Now, uh, to pray the prayer against dream of seeing uh, a wicked mother in the dream. Like you see your mother appear in your dream and uh, tormenting you. Or you see somebody take the image of your mother in the dream and uh, it was tormenting you. These are the prayer that you need to pray. But before you can pray the prayer, you need to have submitted your life to Jesus Christ because you are not born again. Uh, you cannot pray uh, the prayer uh, that we have put here. Why? Because the Bible says that uh, except uh, a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. That is, you cannot enjoy the, 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 the plenitude of God's presence. You cannot enjoy the plenitude of, uh, of the blessings uh, in the kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ. John chapter 1 verse uh, uh, 12 uh, says that uh, as many that received him to death, he gave the power to be called the sons of God. So to manifest as sons of God, you need to receive power. And to receive power, you need to accept him. And you need to believe in his holy name. So if you want to give your life to Jesus Christ, it's not difficult. All you need to do is to believe that Jesus died for your sin. He died for your bondage. He died for every kind of thing that bad thing that have happened to you in the past. And he's ready to receive your soul. He's ready to save you. So, and the next thing is, you pray this prayer uh, for me. When you believe in your heart, you need to confess him with your mouth too. And say, like, I confess that you are Jesus Christ. I confess that you are the Lord of my soul. So what do we do uh, right now? What do we do right now? We go straight and uh, ask God, you know, to come into your life. Pray this prayer with, with me. Say, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. I believe uh, you died for me on the cross of Calvary. I believe that you came to this earth, you know, to pay the price for my sin. Come into my life. Uh, give me the eternal life that you have promised to your children. As from today, Lord Jesus, I will follow you. I will do your will. I will be your disciple forever and ever. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. Now, now that you have prayed those prayer, you are now a child of God. You are now a child of God. I pray that the Holy Spirit will lead you uh, from here. Now, we go straight to the prayer. Prayer to defeat uh, demonic mothers in the dream. That is, prayer that you need to pray. Whenever you dream and you saw an image or somebody took the image of your mother to attack you uh, in the dream. These are the prayer that you need to pray. Prayer uh, number one. That is, prayer against demonic being taking your mother face to attack you in the dream prayers against demonic being taking your mother's face to attack you in the dream number one prayer i separate myself from every demonic soul tie with any demonic spirit mother in the mighty name of jesus christ i separate myself from every demonic soul tie with any demonic spirit mothers in the mighty name of jesus christ number two power assigned to pollute my life lose your power and perish in the mighty name of jesus christ prayer number three every mother of the night assigned to destroy me i destroy you today in the mighty name of jesus christ every mother of the night assigned to destroy me i destroy you today that in the mighty name of jesus christ prayer number four i break every covenant with the familiar spirit in the mighty name of jesus christ prayer number five i break every covenant with any satanic dream mother in the mighty name of jesus christ prayer number six satanic night mother assigned to feed me with polluted food 
in the dream perish in the mighty name of jesus christ satanic night mother assigned to feed me with polluted food in the dream perish in the mighty name of jesus christ prayer number seven familiar spirit taking the image of my mother in the dream in order to oppress me die in the mighty name of jesus christ die in the mighty name of jesus christ familiar spirit taking the image of my mother in the dream in order to oppress me die in the mighty name of jesus christ prayer number eight evil angel from the pit of hell assigned to torment me in my dream receive divine paralysis from the lord and be eternally paralyzed in the mighty name of jesus christ i repeat evil angel from the pit of hell assigned to torment me in my dream receive divine paralysis from the lord and be eternally paralyzed in the mighty name of jesus christ prayer number nine i break myself loose from every covenant with a marine spirit in the mighty name of jesus christ i break myself loose from every covenant with a marine spirit in the mighty name of jesus christ prayer number 10 blood of jesus christ break every covenant between me and any unclean spirit in the mighty name of jesus christ blood of jesus christ break every covenant between me and any unclean spirit in the mighty name of jesus christ prayer number 11 blood of jesus christ penetrate every organ of my body for divine cleansing in the mighty name of jesus christ prayer number 12 blood of jesus christ cleanse my spiritual pipe from every demonic pollutions in the mighty name of jesus christ prayer number 13 power assigned to weaken my strength die 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 in the mighty name of jesus christ power assigned to weaken my strength die 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 in the mighty name of jesus christ prayer number 14 every poison of darkness in my body come out with all your roots in the mighty name of jesus christ every poison of darkness in my body come out with all your root in the mighty name of jesus christ prayer number 15 mother of darkness in my dream fall down and die in the mighty name of jesus christ mother of darkness in my dream fall down and die to rise no more in the mighty name of jesus christ i repeat the prayer again mother of darkness in my dream fall down and die to rise no more in the mighty name of jesus christ prayer number 16 prayer number 16 my spirit mother in the dream die 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 in the name of jesus christ my spirit mother in the dream die and appear no more in my dream in the mighty name of jesus christ i repeat the prayer point again my spirit mother in the dream die and appear no more in my dream in the mighty name of jesus christ prayer number 17 lord jesus christ i thank you for answers to my prayer in jesus christ's name we have prayed those are the prayer points you will pray anytime you dream and you saw a strange being taking the image of your mother in the dream when you dream and you saw your mother in the dream trying to attack you or trying to do you some strange thing that you do not like there's no need going waking up and you know uh, fighting your mother there's no need waking up and thinking that your mother is a bad person all you need to do is just to cancel the dream and pray those prayer remember the bible says we wrestle not against flesh nor blood but against principalities and against power against the rulers of darkness of this world demonic spirit can take the image of your mother to appear in your dream based on different level of uh, covenant it may be as a result of covenant it may even be a deliberate attempt to you know to dishonor your mother or to you know give you a wrong impression about your mother but whatever you have those kind of a dream those are the prayer points you, you need to pray may the lord bless and keep you in the mighty name of jesus christ uh if you have not yet subscribed to the channel because there are other messages that the lord will be bringing even as time goes on the lord has so much to give to his children so much to bless his church with and i believe that as you listen you will continue to be blessed 
do click on the subscription button uh, on the bottom uh, the red button by this side and if you want also to have copies of my book on deliverance from uh, generational courses and all other area of deliverance uh, you get them on a link under this video once again may the lord bless you and may the lord keep you may his countenance shine upon you may the lord give you peace in the mighty name of jesus christ amen